Hey guys, welcome back to the bug bounty series. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at HTML injection. More specifically, we're going to be taking a look at reflected HTML injection with the post request. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be using a B box that contains BWAP and I'm going to start it off, uh, you know, chronologically uh, within injection. I know we've taken a look at reflected uh, injection with the get request. We also took a look at uh, iframe injection and PHP code injection. So we'll be completing the rest of these uh, various types of injections as we move along. Uh, that being said, uh, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the HTML injection reflected post using the post request. So again, this is a very, very simple attack to understand uh, in regards to the actual injection. What is going to happen here is we're going to intercept the post request that is being sent to the server and modify the parameters or the value of the parameters. And that is where we will pass our HTML values, which will then be reflected back to the user. Uh, in whatever way we want with whatever tags we want. So uh, to, uh, to to essentially explain this concept, what I will do is, uh, for example, if I type in a name here, like uh, first name and last name, uh, first name being Alexis, last name being Pepe the Frog, and I hit go, uh, you can see it, uh, it has some predefined text, which is perfectly fine. And it tells us, uh, welcome Alexis and Pepe now. Uh, if I just set the perp suite proxy here to enable and let me just set intercept to on and we pass a value like a uh, user, we can just say Alexis and last name Pepe the frog again and just hit go and we analyze the post request being sent uh, to the server. Uh, we can understand what's going on. So this post request is going to send these two pieces of data, first name and last name. And we are supposed to test these parameters to see if they are vulnerable to HTML injection. So these are the two uh, these are the two parameters here that we will be tinkering with. So what I mean by this is, for example, we can change the value of first name to h1, and we can say uh, hello, and we can close that h1 tag here, and we can also go to the value of last name and get rid of Pepe, and say paragraph, and we can say this uh, this is a uh, HTML, uh, HTML injection attack. And I know that really does not make sense, but I'll just forward this right now. And immediately you can see that it does work. So it takes the parameters and it passes it as HTML and reflects it back to the user. Now these uh, are really not that complicated in regards to, to what uh, their, an attacker is able to accomplish when performing these attacks, but regardless, it, th that is also a vulnerability, the ability to insert HTML, uh, at, you know, whether it be in a post, um, in a post method or a get request, uh, regardless of all of that, we can see that the data is being ta taken, being processed by the server and being returned to the user in the form of an HTML right over here. So you can see it also has the formatting, which is quite excellent. Now, this is going to become very, very interesting when we when we have uh, when we take a look at HTML injection uh, with the stored, um, essentially taking a look at it in a stored situ situation or a scenario. Uh, and the example is going to be in a blog system. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I'll be seeing you in the next one. We'll also be taking a look at HTML injection uh, and more specifically uh, stored HTML injection.